The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Alrighty, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, welcome and thank you for attending the State Board of Optometry Stakeholder Meeting via webinar today. It is September 22nd, 2020, and the time is 12.30 p.m. Before we get started, we would like to introduce the staff members from the Division of Professions and Occupations that are present. My name is Darcy Magnuson, and I'm a regulatory analyst with the division. Also attending is Karen Phelan, Program Director, and Elena Kemp, Regulatory Coordinator. We will be facilitating this stakeholder meeting. In compliance with the governor's orders regarding COVID-19, the division has transitioned to a platform that is 100% virtual, and we appreciate your flexibility. As many of you have been to stakeholder meetings before, we would like to reiterate the importance of your comments today. Dora makes decisions every day that may affect your life and your business. Your input is vital in the rulemaking process. Throughout this process, our goal is to create regulations that clarify and explain legislation, ensure minimum competency to enter and continue to practice, and provide only what is absolutely necessary for consumer protection without creating unnecessary barriers to the marketplace. Your input will be part of the information that goes to the board as it considers adopting a new rule. More specifically, we will be discussing today the proposed new rule 1.26 in Appendix A to implement Colorado Senate Bill 20102 concerning patient disclosures regarding sexual misconduct. This meeting is being recorded and will be posted on the board's website at a later date. As the stakeholder meeting is solely by webinar, please raise your hand by using the hand icon if you would like to speak, and we will unmute your line so that you can be heard by everyone, or you can type your comment in the question section and we will read it aloud. For anyone that is planning to provide comments, please state your name and who you represent. Feel free to provide general comments on the rule, new rule or specific comments on the proposed language. Keep your comments limited to three to five minutes or less and try not to repeat something that was already said. Stating you're in full agreement with someone else works just fine and we will note that. Um, if you're using the audio through your computer, please remember to put any phones on vibrate or turn them off. And whether you are using computer or phone audio, try to keep background noises to a minimum when speaking. So at this point in time, um, we will open the floor to anyone who has comments on the proposed new rule. So you can raise your hand or type those in and we can read those out loud to the group. So we only have a couple of people uh, on the webinar. So uh, again, if you want to provide any input, you can raise your hand, we can unmute you or type in any questions. We'll go ahead and give a couple more minutes for anyone that wants to participate. And then if we don't have any um, feedback, then we'll go ahead and wrap things up.
Alrighty, I don't see any more, I don't see any questions or, or comments, so I'm going to go ahead and include the meeting. Um, thank you for attending today's meeting. The stakeholder comments, um, if any are received, and program recommendations will be presented to the board prior to the permanent rulemaking hearing, which is tentatively scheduled for November 12, 2020. That concludes the stakeholder meeting. Thank you again for your participation, and we are going to end the webinar now.